use the sense memory of some of that chilling, uncomfortable feeling as we move into tonight's session. I, I think th there's no one, there's not something jumping out to me as like, we have to start here. And I, know, I think, I think there may be a couple more moving pieces with what's going on with Willie. So I, I that's kind of the only thing I, I think starting with Willie. When we had last in, when we had last seen him, It, a bloody Jezebel had agreed, you know, had had been persuaded and agreed to kind of help out with this, uh, with with some type of. At that, still, still kind of amorphous, had not known a, a plan or a suggestion of how to kind of get Zag and, and kind of stop Zag from from progressing and take maybe whether it's bring Zag to justice or just get get stop him in some way. Um, it's it's I don't think we had determined and. Uh, Jezebel had given Willie a yet again another motel room. Uh, Willie finds himself in, but but this time, I I think it's well. I don't know how how safe Willie feels. Although certainly, he's. I mean, he's still on the run. He didn't want to come here. He, he's. You know the, the people here though are are listening to him and seem to validate his his concerns or his fears. Um, but I'm not so I'm not quite sure how his night went. But it, it may you know you, you, um, you and you can you can if if, if you have strong feelings about how that went wrong, let me know, um, or we can kind of jump to. The, the the morning after when you know after Jezebel wants to present this this plan to him, the the necessary text, of course, appears in a series of captions, which by no means ever 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 would we mistake for thought balloons. Except of course that's what they are. It's just now they're square and have no little leading bubbles, and so. Um, it's very clear. Willie, I am surrounded by, uh, you know, nothing that I'm comfortable with. I mean, I'm surrounded by whores, thieves, killers, racketeers, uh, you know, people who make their own laws. Um, which to me right now curiously is the source of such relief such a weight off you know the the presence of somebody who actually spoke of zag as a target ah I, first, I'm like, how am I go? How am I ever going to sleep? Look what I've got myself into. Then realizing that I'm asleep before I even notice. So it might be then your first like actual sound sleep that you are you are you know awoken from um, in a couple of days or weeks or you know for however long this has been going on. And pharmacology um, may also be involved. I mean, yes, it's yeah, not in yeah. the sense that if I forget to pop a pill, yeah, right, if I forget to remember, right, then then no, that may actually be a good thing. And so, um, you know, Angela, who's the the woman who helped you escape from the um, the the compound. We'll come and get you in the morning and, and say, you know, Je Jezebel, Jezebel's thought it over, but she needs to run run it by you and kind of bring you. And I, I think to I think that to give the artist something new to do, we, we set this next, uh, you know, she, she, she brings you out to the poolside where Jezebel is having uh, a Bloody Mary, um, you know, at this at this pool. 
But it, remember, it's actually kind of cold. It's November or like October. So it isn't like um, I, I, my image super of the pool. My image of the pool is definitely not Palm Springs Resort either. It's very much roadside, kidney yeah. shaped, you know, nubbly concrete, you know, kind of thing. Maybe not totally it's, junky if she's comfortable on it, but definitely we're, it, we're in a weird space. It's not totally junky, but it is aspirational rather than having achieved mm. any of those aspirations. Would, would maybe put it that way. Um, and she's having a, a, a Bloody Mary, uh, even though, you know, it's, it's morning. It's a morning drink. Um, and she's, you know, sh she'll offer Willie, you know, just let, let you know, there's someone who can get Willie any type of breakfast or anything he wants if he's hungry. Um, but th then she'll get down to it. And she says, I, you know, I've been, I spent the night thinking about this and, 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 you know, putting feelers out and trying to find out what was going on. And one thing you need to know is that, or one thing we found out that I had suspicions of, but now found out for sure that Zag just pulled off some type of big deal and he now has the backing of some of the some of the organized crime families who used to be in in bed with um i forget who the who the real the first the mayor is now um i will waterston all the way back to my little notes here what is it waterston or something waterston. Waterston. yes thank yeah. you sam yeah we know it's waterston and, because uh Cal it's Calvin and Hobbes. That's why. That's how I remember. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no that's. <laughs> I'm worried if I pull up any other things on this, my, the way my computer is set up now, I'll crash Discord and everything. So, um, gotcha. uh, so yeah. So so the the you know they used to be in Watterson's pocket, but they they've shifted and and you know th that's changes things. Like you know, how, however Zag pulled this off, something happened, some deal got pulled off, and now. He he just has a lot more backing and a lot more. It's a lot more dangerous to try to cross him. And, and she says, and I don't think that. You know. I don't. You know. You you tell me, but I don't think what you told me is this is a, something that we can. We're not going to expose him. You know. It, you know. We can try to expose him, but. He he might now be able to wiggle out of anything, and if we. If we really want to make sure that Zag is out of the picture, then we have to make it permanent. And it's, right now, Willie, I'm, I'm pretty far past the whole, you know, headline exposes shocking connections of this to that. Yeah. Um, Not to put too, I'm thinking no, not to put too fine a not to put too fine a point on it in the caption. Well, that's kind of why I came to you. And she's and so she says, and I just want to good because that's that's where we're at, but we're gonna need you to get get close to him. And and. I, you know, before this big deal went through, I might have been able to, we might have been able to do this and then, and then, you know, live out our lives here. But that's not going to be the case. The, the people involved are going to have to leave the city. You're going to have to be, and you're going to have to be prepared to leave too. I cast one longing glance at whatever, you know, waist high metal barred fence surrounds the pool area one longing glance at it and wondering how far i could get if i vaulted over it and sprinted into the distance about right now um realize that no that's not really an option in all kinds of ways it's nowhere to go um yeah. i'll quote my own story and say I must be going crazy, but that does sound like the most sensible thing to do. And 
um, Jezebel. I'm, I don't have suggestions. So tell me what to do. So, so she'll she'll say, well, you know, if you're if you're willing to do this, then then we'll do it. All you need to do is get Zag to come for that that photo. I'll tell you where we want it to happen. All you need to do is is get him there. He's gonna, you know, he's probably gonna need to see you because we need to get him out there. We need to get him right in in the spot. We'll take care of the rest and we'll get you out of here. All right. Now my posture is very much not the the uh, the competent inside agent hitman posture, whatever that is. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm definitely doing the kind of thing where you're seated too far on the the chair, I guess the poolside chair, seated a little too far on the edge of it and hunched over too far. So my elbows are actually kind of on my knees and looking, if not submissive, at least extremely subordinate or, you know, chin yeah. up, you know, thinking, you know, how can I help kind of look. Um just because right now that's my safest, I feel safest there. Um, so, all right, a um, couple things. One is this idea that if that picture was packed away, well, you know, that picture was kind of packed away. I guess we could kind of tell Zag it could have walked off anytime, right? Um, yeah. And also, um, I think I may have good leverage with the guy who was in charge of all that material. So that's, you know, I could tell him basically, and it would actually be legit for me to talk to him about something. Yeah. Um, and finally, um, where are you talking about? Um, so, so she says there's lots of, uh, there's, there's places in the city that I own that no one knows that I own. So th this would be, this, this would be one of, one of my places. It's a, it's a, it's a cafe. It's a place where a lot of people, you know, do, do, do meetings for various business arrangements. It would be a perfectly, it, it would, it, it would seem like a perfectly safe place to do this. Okay. Look, the only way that this is going to make any sense is if I go with him there. Yes. Yes. Rather than like meet him now. Yeah. Um, possibly. I mean, yeah. He... All right. I don't. All right. All right. I'll, I'll try to cook something up. Um. And but I'll tell you what. And, he's he's a but, he's a suspicious dude. I do not think that he fully trusts me. He doesn't need to trust you, Willie. He just doesn't need to know you know me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to handle this through the two people there who actually do trust me yeah. um, without even directly talking to him, if at all possible. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, I know here. Can you have somebody send me? No. Send this to this email. Mm-hmm. Can you have somebody uh, send a scan of the photo to that? Yeah, my my people can do that. All right, that'll that's all I need. need. Okay. Um. So. And who? And who, yeah, that's going to be Lena's Lena's email. No. No, this is going oh. to be some kind of slightly obscure contact email and uh, contact information that goes with the militia stuff. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. 
Thanks. Nice. You know, info at such and such that yeah. you know, occasionally probably get some some camo dude, some camo yeah. person, you know, interested in um but it's not oh yeah, anyway, I I, I could go yeah. on and on, but Willie's probably Perfect. not good at this shit, not that I am, but Right. Yeah. He's, he, yeah. He'll just say, yeah, because he only, you know, I've, I've been doing all these, like, you know, figuring out all these accounts and figuring out how it all sort of operates. So that's the, that's my plan. So, so she, she says, you know, you know, you, you've been closest to him. So how do you think it's best? You know, I, I, you know, I, I'll leave it in your hands. All right. You the know, only thing, the only real problem is how, you know, where, where have I been all day? Where have I been all night and day? That's the real problem. Because as far as they're concerned, I just disappeared. That's that's the one thing I'm the most worried about. So should, I mean, so uh, you might say, well, you said there was people I, I, there who trusted you. Yeah, I know. I I just realized I didn't play that very willy. It's like, oh no, I've been gone. What am I going to do? What am I going to tell them? And then she, yeah, then she'll say, "Well, you know, you said there's people there who trusted you, you know." Yeah, but Use I got to get back there somehow. I got to get back there in some way that makes some kind of sense. Um. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I tried well, to you... take. Let's say I tried. Okay, I got it. I got it. Just. Um. Um. Yeah, leave me. Leave, leave me I gotta get somewhere that's like walking distance to the compound yeah. like maybe away from the roads I'll, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. like scuff myself up and everything I'll need to scuff myself up and everything and then I realized I shouldn't have said that out loud because there's probably people she has would be perfectly good at doing that realistically so uh but she'll, uh, but she, she's like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get you back there. Um, you know how to contact us. Let us know, you know, let me know when it's ready. Let me know when you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll do the rest. And we'll, we'll get you out of the city once it's done. Okay. Oh, man. I'm so worried. I mean, I took my bag with me. Mm -hmm. That's going to be really hard to explain. Um, I have to say goodbye to my bag. Yeah. Probably. Oh, man. For now. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really, really, really not going to impress Angela if I, like, whine about my little totally replaceable lolly bag. <laughs> 